Greg here from Sticky Wicked Designs. Uh, Going to be looking at a few other items within Shopify.com. So that's the uh, Shopify is a hosted e-commerce system. Uh, very slick, very nice for working with uh, for designers and developers, and quite simple to use for site owners. What I'm going to look at today is entering. Um, products and in particular uh, just doing some edits some changes adding um, images and some other uh, necessary changes within the uh, Shopify system to a given product um, so in this particular case I'm just from within Shopify this is after the initial login I'm showing uh, so many products uh, so many uh, SKUs that are entered and what I want to do is go into the products tab. This allows me to review my products and I can quickly see if I have some products that don't have say images added to them. Um, so in this case I'm going to go over take a look at this particular product. I want to add an image to it which I already have on my hard drive. So the first thing I got to do is um, make sure that I know which image I'm looking for. I already have it and luckily the images that I have are named to match their SKU. So I click on upload an image, choose file, then I have to browse to where I have all of these images located on my computer. Product images, large. And now in the search, just to make it easy, I'm going to type in what I'm looking for. It comes up in the list. Perfect. I could switch it over to thumbnail, um, but it's going to take it a while to process that information, and I don't really need it. So, um, since I've got the name of the file, that's really all I need. I hit open. It goes to work. It's added it. It shows the image here. And great, we're done. That's it. That one's done. Uh, piece of cake, right? Uh, if I did want to add edit some of the other information for this particular product. I would just click on the edit text. It gives me the browser window. Uh, so I can type away. Um, there's a few other things that I can control such as the uh, the URL that it would appear under. Uh, what else can I have at product type? I've got a list of different product types that I've already entered into the system, so I could reference one of those or create a new one. Um, everything that we're entering on this particular one is one vendor, so I just handle that there. I could add another vendor if I um, if the need arose. Title, we're just going with a general title for these. Uh, and what else? We can also add tags. Tags would be some uh, quick search options that maybe people would enter when they're viewing your site and you would want this particular product to come up. Um, in this particular case, um, it is a mirror that we're dealing with. Mustang Inside Rear View Mirror and Arm Kit. Um, so maybe what I want, I would like the word Mustang to show up. I would also like mirror or mirrors to show up. And I hit update. And now it shows those tags in there. If I needed to edit the uh, price that I have for that particular item, I do it down below. I'm just going to do cancel so you can see that again. So where we have inventory, down below we see the SKU. It's saying default title because there's no other variations of it. So we're just going to use default title, which means using that title for it. The price and what have you. We can set a stock value if we want, or we can say don't track. Um, it's totally uh, a judgment call uh, depending on how you want to set up your store. So we've got the SKU, our price, which is already set in Canadian, the compare at price, which we aren't necessarily use, utilizing in this case, and you can set the um, the item weight as well. Uh, require a shipping address, uh, so different options that we uh, do set on it, charge taxes, yep. Then we'd say update, and that would do it. 
that would save any changes that we did make to it. And then I can go back to products. And now we'll see we do get an image for that particular one. So then I move on to the next one and go through the same steps. So that's just a very quick overview on managing products.